Hi guys, so for this week's video, I want to share with you guys the process that I go through when it comes to doing my eyebrows. Now, as we all may know, there's so many benefits of doing your own eyebrows at home. First of all, it's so much cheaper. Secondly, it's more convenient because you can do it whenever you want. And third, you will know how to do your own eyebrows, which is a good thing. And of course, there is also a downside to doing your own eyebrows at home, especially if you've never done it before because you may screw it up the first time. They may be uneven or over plucked, but that's absolutely fine because that's how you're going to learn. And if you do over pluck your eyebrows, you can always draw them back on. A large percentage of girls these days have artificial eyebrows anyway, so that's not even a problem. And yeah, let's just get into it. <laughs> Oh, my eyebrows are naturally thin anyway and I remember back in the day it used to be trendy to have really thin eyebrows but now times have changed, we've moved on and basically having fuller clean eyebrows is the thing so I had to like get moving and sort my eyebrows out and I'm just going to show you how I do that, I've already mentioned that anyway. so. When I do my eyebrows, I love to do them fresh out of the shower because I read somewhere that the steam from the having a bath or a shower or whatever it is opens up the pores in your eyebrows and it makes it less painful, which I personally believe in. It could be a placebo, but it works for me, so try it out. Like, get out of the shower and then start doing your eyebrows. But because it takes me so long to set up a whole video, I've gotten out of the shower, it's been like so long and now my eyebrows are cold again so I need to warm them up a bit. Okay, so what I've done is I got a face cloth and I've got some boiled water and I'm just going to dip the face cloth into the boiled water. It's not extremely hot because I don't want to burn my face but it's like at a reasonable temperature. Okay, so another thing that I've learned whilst doing my eyebrows is that if I'm really warm, then it's not as painful. This could be another thing that's all in my head, but I feel like when I wear like a jacket or something, the pain isn't as painful because I'm warm. It sounds really weird, but like, that's what happens. Okay, so let's just get into it. I started off by getting a spoolie brush and just literally pushing all my eyebrows up. And then I'm going to get a scissors, one of these little small ones, and I am just going to cut off the little hairs that pop out when I brush my hair up. Alright, and now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to create an arch and I'm just going to get rid of any of the hairs that get in the way of my arch bra, so which any hairs that are over here, pretty much. And I'm not going to lie to you, the first few times that I did it, oh my goodness, it was so painful. Like, I plucked a few and I was tearing up and I was like, no, why am I even doing this? Forget this. And now I'm just going to go fill them in and show you the finished results. Okay, so after I finished filming, I realized that this eyebrow looks really good and then this one looks a little lost. 
I just find it extremely difficult to film and like do makeup. I'm still learning, but that's okay. Anyway, your eyebrows are not supposed to be identical twins, they're just supposed to be sisters so they can look similar but not exactly the same. And that is exactly what I tell myself every time that I screw up on them. So yeah, regardless of the situation, I still hope you guys enjoyed the video and give it a thumbs up if you do, I'd really appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time.